A Brazilian woman goes before a judge in Chicago for an emergency hearing, saying enough is enough. She and her nine-year-old son were separated at the U.S.-Mexico border. He's now in federal custody, and she's demanding they be reunited. CBS 2's V. Wynn joins us live now from the Dirksen Federal Building with more. Hi, V. Yes, good morning, Marissa and Aaron. The emergency hearing just wrapped up moments ago, and a judge says he may issue an order later today with a decision or request written briefs in this case. He spent the past hour asking questions and listening to arguments from both sides in this case to determine whether to deny or grant the request to release the boy to his mother. 27-year-old Lydia Souza and her attorneys walked into the federal courthouse this morning, hoping the judge will rule in their favor. Souza has been separated from her son for almost a month now. She and her attorney filed a federal complaint earlier this week for reunification. During the hearing, the judge asked several questions, like what is Souza's legal status? Is the child considered an unaccompanied minor? And who would he stay with in Boston? Souza and her son entered the United States last month seeking asylum after fleeing from Brazil out of fear of persecution. Her attorney says she passed an, in, an initial screening and was permitted to stay in the States while she pursued an asylum claim. But she was put in detention and her son sent to Illinois. Souza was released from federal custody earlier this month and has tried to get her son back with no luck. We learned that boy is being held at a facility about 45 minutes away from the city and celebrated his birthday alone. His mom got a chance to see him for about an hour the other day. Now again, it will be up to a judge to either grant or deny the request to reunite Sousa with her son. Again, the judge says that decision. Um, he may issue an order with a decision or request more briefs in this case, and we can expect to learn more information later today. Reporting live outside the federal courthouse, V1 CBS 2 News. Back to you. V, thank you.